Hi, my cryptid sibling shares my weird penchant for funky snacks. So today on Pippa Fist, a uh, guest star and Dr. Pepper cotton candy that I found while we were out at High Beach. Ah! Kermit, whoa, I opened the bag too far and it's just cotton candy lump. Well, cotton candy is not exactly something you can store and put away. This looks like fiberglass insulation for one thing. Um, store it in your attic. In my attic with all of the other fiberglass. Just take, take. How do I get just a, a wait a wit? They also, whoa, that was, yeah, when you stick your nose up in it, it definitely just smells like Dr. Pepper. Thoughts? This tastes like, God, I know the fruit, but I can't fucking name it. It tastes like a fruit. Is it possible that it's cherries? No. What would it be if it's not cherries? It's like halfway between a cherry and a plum. A pluot? A plum. I was trying to think what's halfway between a cherry and a plum. It's a pluot, isn't it? I don't know what a pluot is. A little dragon egg. Not a dragon egg. Dinosaur egg is how they were marketed when I was your age. When I was your age, when I was... Back in the 90s, the early aughts, the, the thousands, uh, there was a... Uh, Lip Smackers chapstick made soda flavor. I think they still have them on the market, the soda flavored uh, lip balms. The, uh, it's very reminiscent of that. If you ever just, <laughs> were you the kids who ate their chapsticks that, that smelled like they were tasty or is that just me? It tastes like that. Oh no. Uh, I mean, I, I'm still eating it. It didn't immediately gross me out or anything. It's just, very lightly essenced with the idea of Dr. Pepper. That's fine. That's why. Any further? Okay. I don't have many at all. <laughs> You're asking the wrong question. Same, bud.